That's all you got? Ah, who's crazy now? Who's got an impracticable machine? Who's got uh, an engine that's too big to fit in a frame? Huh? Who's can, laughing? Can <laughs> I just drop on her from above? And as this happening, and you finally get in view of the perpetrator of this little shenanigan. I was thinking a crab robot, but that works too. <coughs> uh, she is just uh, laughing in the middle of the street, enjoying um, the chaos around her and rubbing it into people's faces while her machine is busy, like I said, breaking uh, the window shop's um, uh, main uh, <clears throat> well glasses and just basically reaching out and stealing some kind of... Uh, Mechanical parts that you do not recognize. Bull rush. Can I drop on her? Since how are you gonna drop on her? Well, I kind of assumed since you said down in the city, I assumed one of those bridges in the city went There over. is nowhere for you to jump on her on. Like, do you wanna climb on a building? As I said, you said down in the city, and the image of the city you showed had bridges going between buildings and all that sort of shit. Ah, so that's what you mean. Okay, well, make more sense, man. I mean, you can, but those bridges are pretty far up. Can you take the fall damage? If I land on her. <laughs> I mean, are you sure you want to risk it? It seems like there's a good hundred or something even more feet. It's alright, I can physically run down the building and then jump when it's 50 feet and land on her. So you easily manage to, uh, well, grab her. She goes, hey, unhand me, you brute. What is this? She then turns around to see you that you're a woman. Uh, still ugly, boy. <laughs> By the way, she gets. Oh. <laughs> she she's like, yeah, she's actually kind of soft. I'll call your machine off. <coughs> what do you mean call it off? Dix is just doing his job. What job? Just call it off. To stop. No, this is finally our time to have some fun. Okay, and that's it. I'm casting my today. tower shield up. And I'm pointing it directly at her, and the sign of Aoma Day is starting to catch on fire. I'm literally about to throw fire, a fireball <laughs> at her and say, turn it off. It was just like, like what the fuck? Are you here too? What the fuck? I give you uh, shit. I can heal you later. <laughs> what the fuck? You see her uh, panic uh, a bit. She then grits her teeth with a menacing uh, look in her eyes. And uh, she then uh, basically lifts her nose up at you. Hm. Uh, you peasants, you just don't know how to... Uh, you don't uh, have any manners. All you had to do was ask politely. Huh. The symbol is <laughs> burning brighter. Uh, the giant uh, hand of the mech reaches out, Iris, and if you don't let go, it's gonna pick you up along with her. Do a back roll. <laughs> well, I'm gonna... Yes, fat gold and plate armor. Well, if uh, she's, if it's not gonna be, if I can dodge it easily, and I guess I will, just. Whoosh. You can. You don't have to worry about that. The machine basically reaches out. It grabs its owner, places uh, the girl oh, I, I on its back. I meant the back girl while still holding her. Oh well. <laughs> Figured you could do that. You're a monk. Right, uh, as she is uh, riding on top of uh, her giant machine, which is now conveniently on four legs, so it's easier for her to ride it. She goes. Hmm, I won't forget this insult. Remember, uh, remember this, you lot. You just made a powerful enemy today. My name is Saudri Belladonna, and don't you forget it. Bro, oh, shut for up, and me. And as she says that, uh, her machine starts uh, briskly walking away with some of the loot it picked up, low, and you are left with the sound of her voice. That's a high or low. <laughs> she's gone. Enough, high, or high, or high, or low. high or low, she's gone. But yeah, Experta. Just yes. pick. It, high not... or low? Oh, am I the one that has to yeah. Yes. High or low is uh, going. Always high, man. Always high. Okay, I do not resist the urge. As she's going, and I fucking get out the short sword and I hurl it so the pommel hits her right in the temple. <laughs> Just fuck this bitch. Uh, Romeo, range to attack. Sure. No. That's not range. Okay, no. You're using strength. Use dex. <laughs> Uh, my strength and dex are both. Uh, oh, are you really? proficient with throwing assorted people? I am, yes. 
<laughs> wow. So as she's laughing and uh, oh, going away, to say you basically throw that damage. thing after her and it hits her on the back of the head. You see her slump down on top of the machine unconscious as the bike is riding away. So all you see is like, try and get it. All you see is this little short sort of go, get smaller, smaller and smaller and conk, king. <laughs> And she is unconscious on her machine as her machine is riding off into the sunset with the loot. By the way, I'm gonna look towards Klein and go, that was very childish. You, yeah, just, you see me halfway through releasing like a breath of pure stress, just... <sighs> you guys yeah, your don't have a... symbol takes a little while before it dims down. You two don't really <laughs> handle stress well, do you? I don't handle heretics well. And these are... The most dangerous kind of heretics. They're all oh. idiots. By the way, um, Morgan, you ever heard these people before? Um, Ash, are you sure you want to bring that up, considering uh, there are some obvious here that don't know about your condition? She, she no, she's, <laughs> but she's just talk. She's just talking, but they don't see anyone. It's like, Morgan, are you okay? Like she's whispering it to herself. Uh, okay, so what did you ask her? She said, have you ever heard these people before? Like, it's... <laughs> they seem like... How could no one hear these people? Uh, she basically tells you, before I met uh, the pirates that imprisoned me, I used to live in the Western Isles. <laughs> really? How did you live here? Easy. Demons are mu much more acceptable here. So there are normal demons. Hmm. Okay. So basically, what the rest of you guys are just seeing Iris talking to herself. Yeah, as they're trudging uh, up, uh, she's we, muttering we, to herself. We gave her an opportunity to have a chat with herself. I've trudged off to get my shorts. <laughs> to them, and I'm, I'm just, just a bit crazy. Because I don't want to be by anybody that's you not. You want to be next to the sane. crazy cat lady talking to herself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so why is it? Why does Iris mutter to herself sometimes? I have no clue. Oh my god, Alicia is the only one who knows, isn't she? Oh god, yeah. Alicia's the only one that knows, yes. Oh jeez. <clears throat> That's gonna be By a shock. By the way, since Keep you all decided to bring a strike for conversation with Morgana, she also says, considering that girl has the only working machine in the city, she can be extremely useful. It's not. I... I know. I... I know. Like, as if... Oh, Maybe we god. should kill her and take it. I don't know how to work it. I'm sure that if we kill it, the machine is gonna look for a new master. That's how they work, right? <laughs> she just gives a blank look, like... Uh, at this point, you're starting to figure out that none of this actually matters. Morgana just wants to kill that bitch because she's annoying. <laughs> she's like, we'll talk to her later. First, we need to know where she's gone, which the others probably know. Seems like a common nuisance. If anything, that girl Tina seemed to know her, so... Yeah... Okay... Let's head back then. I need sleep. She says she rolls an arm, going after the, the two above and sister while looking not that hot. <laughs> In the meantime, Alicia, since you were healing uh, Tina, you would know that uh, as she walked off to... Well... In her words, put it, uh, find some people and contact them that might be useful to you guys. She felt hungry, so she immediately went to eat something. After that, she took uh, a quick power nap and then resumed her duty to meet with a few people before going to eat again and then uh, taking another power nap, after which she met a few more people and then she started looking for the party. On the way for her search for the party, however, she felt hungry again, so she went to grab another bite to eat. Lovely. It was a very riveting <clears throat> experience. Oh, uh, so in other words, she did do what she... Well, uh, <laughs> no, 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 she did find some people, but there was a lot of eating and sleeping, mostly. Oh, God. Here's what it's going to take to get Iris to see what the other people have seen. <laughs> Like looking into a shittier mirror. <laughs> it's like, it's like she's she's figured out long ago. She's just like doing the whole ah, if I'm bright and cheery on a battlefield style. But this is going too far beyond even for her. She's like, in the meantime, you're your depressor. 
you a friendly neighborhood GM would like to remind you that it's been a long time since you've had any rest or any food. So yeah. you are probably gonna start suffering penalties unless you <sighs> slow down and take a deep breath. Please, please, <clears throat> please don't give me another fatigue. Um, uh, yeah, at this point, I think you know, this is probably cooked enough and fed uh, for people around. Is that right? Yep. Awesome. So she's just easy eating her food now as well. It's like, is there any place we can stay? Is that wrong? Oh. Uh, sure, I can arrange uh, a nearby place for you guys. Plus, uh, it's gonna be convenient if you stay here because um, most of the people you should meet are around here. So, you know. That's convenient. Good. By the way, as one of the customers is leaving, uh, he says, mm, That was the best steak ever. I give this restaurant four cogs out of five. Mm. And I'm uh, to figure so out what Simi, we're going uh, to do. What do you wish to order your contacts to do for you? Well, is there anyone here who actually deals in information, like as an information broker? Yes. Like, so really. That person <laughs> presumably has some sort of people working for them to keep an eye on things. Yep. So I'm going to quietly advise them of the fact that there's, you know, someone in said tower that is doing some shit to their city. Yep. And they are actually they... already aware of that, because oh, it's kind great. of hard to miss. Yeah, and you know, like, politely ask them if they could pass along some information, of course, for modest compensation. Of course. That can <laughs> easily be taken care of. And also ask them if there's some other weird shit going on that, you know, the, uh, well, respectable people have no idea is, you know, is going down, but the, of course, the, you know, people in the know is going to know. Well, right now they don't have anything specific for you, but they will keep an eye out. Ah, oh, amazing. And how much is that going to cost me? <laughs> Depends on the information, which they do not have yet. Uh, Just have them yeah, scout it out. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming I... Wait, how, how does this entire interaction take place, by the way? Uh, you basically write, uh, I'm just simplifying the process, you write a letter to Yorshka, Yorshka gives you back a reply, tells you where you can find some good people and that she's gonna make sure that, uh, I'm just gonna use she because Yorshka is a female name, but you don't know what gender it is, just for my convenience. Is it? So, Yorshka <laughs> told you basically how to contact the people and told them that you will be going there. So, you manage in uh, one of um, one of the back alleys, you manage to meet a few people that they are basically your contacts here. They now know your face, they know who you are, and since you have told them that they should be on the lookout and you want information, they will make sure to contact you. Wait, can I not meet them Something. with the mask on? Or with the hood what? on? Can I meet them with the hood on so they don't know who I am? Well, in that case, they're gonna ask for how the fuck do they contact you. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough then. Whenever you say your I think of a short, fat, bald man. <laughs> Why? Like a football hooligan. <laughs> Jesus, dude. In before yes. your in Speaking before your case, you guys issues. also get some mail, and when I say mail, actually just one of you gets mail, and that's serious. Why am I here when he gets months. mail? Uh, this time it's not a letter, though, it's a small package. Oh, the I, bomb. <laughs> immediately, Iris does not like, take any precautions and is like, Oh, opens up. Right, as you grab the package, you hear a voice. Everybody actually at the table hears it, not just you. And that voice, in a very cheerful manner, goes... <coughs> Hi there, you traitorous hussy. And as you open the box, it's a familiar blade. Why are you here? Literally <laughs> spoke out loud. By, by the way, it was already like... Wait, how big's the box? I immediately stand up and point at the box. Why is there a talking sword? No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, actually, how big's the box the... is small. Yeah. Uh, the blade has taken the shape of a dagger. Yeah, I'm gonna open it up slowly and then close it. It's like, but it's like, it's it's okay. Everybody it's heard like... her speak, by the way, because <laughs> she speaks out loud and said, "Hi there, you traitorous hussy." It's like, All right, then I'm still pointing at the packages and say, "What is in there? Why is it talking?" Calm down. It's fine. What are you doing here? I was gonna come back later. What? Why are you here? I got tired of waiting. I worked things out with uh, good old Gordon, so he sent me over. What said do you, you mean? Might need, uh, you might need some help. What do you mean you worked things out? Oh yeah, we strike a deal, so don't worry about it. I'm not gonna eat your soul anymore, it's fine. That's By not... the way, yes, this is so out loud. <laughs> it's like, look, that's not... 
Will you quiet down? They're here. The, this is not. <laughs> I love you. Hey, it's like, what hey, the fuck? Why, why, why are you panicking? I thought you'd be happy to see me. I'm here trying well, to help you out. We can <clears> just go <throat> sever the head of some enemies. I can drink their blood. I'm not gonna eat your soul, and it's gonna be all cool. Look, I understand. How did did Gordon mail you? Yeah. One second. I'm gonna get out of a magical orb and contact him. Like I've got both of them now. Uh. <laughs> if you use that, you're literally gonna send the signal for him to be summoned. Oh wait, here. really? Oh, it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, you does... cannot use it as a tele tele telecommunication device. This is stupid. It needs Unless multiple it's functions. Andri. Andri can do that. Oh, I'm gonna contact Andri and see if she can like get like. <laughs> I can contact her through the orb then, but not anyone yes. else. As you contact Andri, you see that she is face first on a very comfy bed, and somebody is giving her a massage, and she just goes. Mm. Yes. What uh, is it? Henry, uh, is Gordon there? Mm. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, mm. Gordon, it's for you. And as uh, she <laughs> says that, you see the one giving her a massage. It's a very reluctant Gordon. Uh, this is something. By the way, I can't see the. Oh, I can't see this, apparently. It's like I shouldn't be able to see this. Gordon, did you send uh, the sword? To me? <laughs> uh, by the way, as soon as you made contact with her, you already know her name. Unlike before, she's not hiding her true form anymore. Well, So you yeah. know that the blade is actually called Tashura. I'm trying to be subtle. <laughs> as subtle okay, as I can. With a fucking oh, demon yeah. sword. Oh, <laughs> Gordon <laughs> says, ah yeah, she was uh, really starting to bug me. Like, she wouldn't shut up about how bored she is uh, sitting uh, in the armory all day. It's cold and damp and all that stuff. So I decided might as well send her over. Maybe she'll be useful to you. Well, yeah, she's really useful. That's why I want to talk to her. But th that's how... Don't worry about it. Like uh, she probably told you, we struck a deal, so you'll be fine. If she goes back on her deal and and harms you, don't worry. I'll make sure to destroy her problem. Now, this isn't the type of deal that is Rohana grade, right? You know, like the whole almost kill yourself over this. Please, who do you take me for? I don't know. You may have made the deal when you were drunk. Were you drunk? He looks extremely offended. Why is... I, <laughs> I look serious. <laughs> No, I wasn't drunk. Okay, then it's... Yeah, it's okay. Also, then. if Felicia's there, say hi to her from me, alright? T uh, tell her to always uh, eat um, a lot of veggies, to stay out of trouble, and to stop stabbing people in the back for no reason. By the way, she can probably hear this, can't she? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you heard what him. What am I, 12? Kill those things. <laughs> you heard him. Uh, <laughs> Alicia looks at us. I'll have you know, I'll never st I've never stabbed anyone in the back for no reason. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks. I guess. Uh, yeah. Guess I got my wish for backup weapon. So what hey, are you sure you guys don't need me in there? I could always pop in and and Tandri suddenly as uh, she's lying down reaches out with one hand. You're staying here. You're busy for the rest of the day. That's it. Keep working on that note. Well, we maybe could use a bit of help. I mean. Andre cuts off the connection. God damn you! <laughs> She's like. Welcome to maid supremacy, son. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, okay, okay. There's no backup from there then. Understood. She puts the ball away. Well, uh, okay then. She opens up a box and then closes it again as she remembers. Right, there's two veins here. <laughs> one already. No, no I'm sure they probably taste like shit anyway. One all day and one already stuff. gave up and left. No, oh, wait. Who <laughs> left? I did. Oh, it's like, uh, Klein, this isn't what you think it is. And what do you think I think it is? That, uh, somehow... corrupt... Uh... To shorten the story, no, no, this no, no, sword let, was let her say. liberated from a prison. Well, just to say, I'm still on your side. <laughs> Can I just come out and, you know, we can talk this out like adults? I'm getting tired of this box. You're aware the phrase, I'm still on your side, doesn't engender the most confidence. I guess so. She opens up the box and, like, takes out the dagger. The dagger, as soon as it leaves the box, becomes uh, your favorite shape, as you instructed it to be, a katana. 
Either that or like a saber, either one I can handle. Whichever you like, saber. it becomes that. So However, you have a magic uh, it sword. suddenly materializes and the demon that you see in the picture pops up on a nearby chair, all smiles. Oh yeah, he might be holy and all that, but he still looks kind of tasty. No. Look, we are find a place no, I haven't eaten in ages. Come on, feed me something. You have I a can't magic work on an talking empty sword that's inhabited by... Look, we find a, a place... girl with the mind of... Well, anyone here. Yes. A sexual no. predator. Actually, Yanning, uh, I'm not inside the sword. The sword is actually my body. Yes, yeah, see, she's a sword. There's nothing wrong with that. Pleased to meet you. My name's Ashura. Also, uh, they call me Tainted Steel. I kind of corrupt people, you know? Kind of my thing. I'm really good at it, actually. Uh, what are you yeah. saying? She I, actually I, I just, I just turned Iris. Wanna, wanna get Iris. a little down and dirty? I can teach you how awesome fall from grace can be. I, it comes I, with a lot I just turned to Iris and asked, how much of a problem is this going to be? Let's find a place to stay, and I will explain everything. I assure I you. I like him. He's cute. Yes, he is. Now go back as in I... the robe. She says she hides the sword inside the robe. <laughs> as I walk back into this shit, I basically just adopt the expression that a Horatius sometimes adopts, where he's just like, it's just kind of like standing there, like you would face palm, but you're too done for it. Yeah, this it's is just kind of like I guess this is my life now. Yeah, you're starting to accept the crazy. It's fine. Don't worry. It will come naturally. But, uh, Alicia, uh, Tina, have you got any places where we can stay? Oh yeah, I've already worked out some stuff for you. By the good. way, that's a cool blade. I haven't seen many like those around. Yeah, she's a good blade. I mean, there was a bit of misunderstanding and she's a little young, but yeah, otherwise. Uh, how far can you throw her? What's her center of balance? <laughs> it really depends. I mean, can you nail enemies to the wall like I do with my blade? What's uh, uh, the swing uh, radius on that thing? Wait. Do you have to <laughs> compensate for wind resistance? Wait, wait. You do know how to use a sword, right? She looks at you confused. Of course I do. I I mean, didn't you see me earlier? No, and she just no. demonstrates with her hands. Without, like, yeah! without straight at the enemy. I'm pretty good at it. Without throwing it. Without throwing it? Yes. You see, what? Iris, this is just another... Don't mind her, she's retarded. Uh... I say that loudly, by the way. <laughs> well, Man, the... No wonder nobody likes uh, you people from the continent. You're all so rude. No manners. This is why we exiled you. Please, we just run away from your bullshit. Mm. Let's go, let's go to I'm the place, curious, shall we? If you wanted a throwing weapon, why not a spear rather than a sword? It's much e easier to throw away right here. Yeah, but the sword has much more impact. Plus, I don't know how to summon spears. I know how to summon swords. Swords are much cooler. Uh, let's go to the place we're staying. We're relax and You're, talk to Do you know how to use a sword? Huh? Me? Yeah. Well, it's been pretty easy so far. I mean, Steel hasn't had any complaints. How I handle her? Oh, I have plenty of complaints. I'm just <laughs> munching on your soul, so I didn't bother telling you. You have absolutely no idea how to hold me properly. Look, I have four enemies. I just beat them. Shrugged. That's 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 all I need to know, right? But when we have some free time, I'll teach you how to use a sword properly. Fine. Just... Ooh, and as compensation, maybe I can teach you a few things. What's his name teach anyway? Me how to shut up. The annoying people on this island. Oh, I like him when he's being crude. But let's go in. Come on. Like she's. What's gonna... his name? You didn't tell me. It's Klein. Ooh. <laughs> They're all called Klein. <laughs> <laughs> I get Every the sense that this them. sword is somewhat masochistic. But... From what I can tell, it seems to be a child with the mindset of a sexual predator. <laughs> um, or like doesn't understand the issue with that statement. Right. Uh, so, are we going to go to the place where we're staying then? <laughs> to say, yeah. 
How long sure. away? I'm guessing I'm gonna explain to Tate Steel. But wait, 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 wait! Tino suddenly stops you. Aren't we gonna eat first? I'm getting kind of hungry. Didn't we just eat? Well, that was like a long while ago. I mean, we should probably eat for the road, you know. If you want to eat, you can do it by yourself. How are you? How wait, do you uh... even survive with what that many mean? brain cells missing? Jeez, you really are a rude one. How are you supposed to fight on an empty stomach if an emergency happens, huh? You tell me. How do you consume so much food? Uh, she just looks at you confused and shrugs. Oh. It just, you know, it works. She scratches her head. Okay, fine. I mean, you saw how I summon weapons, right? I basically use a kind of unorthodox type of magic that's more akin to alchemy than anything it burns up a lot of energy that's why unless i get uh, a lot of food and a lot of sleep i am well a little grumpy wait so you're since telling when me does... the one thing that you seem to actually be able to do you can't even do that right hey i'll have you know that this is a very rare and ancient art that's very extremely difficult to master and on top of that it also consumes like i said a lot of energy wait since when does alchemy consume energy well that's the thing it doesn't but what i do is a mix between alchemy and magic that's kind of you know the so are you a mage point. or an alchemist well honestly if you ask magicians i'm an alchemist if you ask uh, alchemists i'm a mage so it's kind of up in the air it's semantics really who cares it works doesn't magic not consume energy either well magic uh, is basically distortion of the mana around the area well alchemy is basically working off of a person's own personal energy sort of like spirit arts so in a way both arts kind of complement each other, but to do that, you require to uh, you require to burn a lot of energy. So what you're doing is actually more akin to spirit arts than anything else, except they're not spirit arts. Well, that's also kind of not true because somebody that uses spirit arts doesn't know anything about magic or anything about alchemy. So. And you have to have a lot of self-control to be able to use spiritual arts properly. <laughs> that's also true. Uh, Alicia think about it for a second, like, does one, really? Yeah, think about it. Have you ever met someone who can use spiritual arts that doesn't at least have an incredibly entrenched sense of self and know exactly what they want to do? See, he gets it. <laughs> Alicia slowly, apl like, applies this template to herself and realizes that it's true. <laughs> it's true of everyone you've ever met. I mean, the spirit arts require a lot of discipline in a different sense. I mean, do you see me as the kind of monk, monk that goes meditating? Screw no. that shit. It's better to just eat a lot of food and sleep. And she starts laughing. By the way, should we get to the in part and rest? By the way, the key. reason she went ahead with that conversation is because as you guys were getting up, she just cleaned out your plates. Everything that you left behind, she ate it. <coughs> I don't care, I already ate yes, what I wanted. Yes, by all means. Let's uh, find a, as a, play, as a place to stay and get ambushed during our sleep. Uh, it doesn't take long to take you to the tavern that she has uh, picked out for you guys. She actually uh, goes to reception and pays for your guys' stay. Actually... You might be an idiot, but that conversation did give me an idea. Don't really have time in a minute for it. Yes, so yes, we're gonna reach the place she's gonna have a stay then? Yeah, you're already there, she paid for your room, so you can uh, enjoy awesome. your stay in the tower. <clears throat> oh, so before she leaves, I'm gonna ask her to try get the address or where we can meet that woman with a clockwork machine. Uh... I don't know where uh, Audrey may be, but I did manage to make a list of all the people that uh, you should uh, check out once you have some time. Here you go, these are the addresses, and she gives you a list. As for Audrey, I ah, don't worry, she'll probably show up eventually. She Fair always enough. does. Okay then, thanks for your help. Now, I think I'm gonna need some rest. She says she yeah, sure. walks in. I'll go uh, find some place to eat, I'm starving. I'll see you guys, uh, maybe tomorrow? We'll see. Have you seen this? Come on, T-Rex! Fuck you, bitch! Get out of the building! Collateral damage!